A photograph captured by Israel's channel correspondent and shared in a telegram group has sent shockwaves around the world. Shared on Twitter by New York Times, correspondent Arik Toller, the image reveals an area where hundreds of Palestinians detained by Israeli forces have been gathered. The striking detail in the photo is the spotlight under which some Palestinians are held by Israeli soldiers. The image also depicts the wreckage of surrounding buildings due to attacks by the Israeli army. This scene that the occupation is, is an attempt to break our will and to show his power over the people. Don't you remember this picture? This is what the American, who is a supporter of the occupation, in Abu Ghraib prison, how they abused the Iraqi people. Such footage and vetoes are not a new or unique phenomenon. Israeli soldiers, along with members of the American and other militaries, have been caught on camera acting inappropriately or maliciously in conflict zones. The videos, coupled with muted criticism of them in Israel, reflect a national mood that is highly supportive of the war in Gaza, with little empathy for the plight of Gaza's civilians. Palestinian officials have been accusing Israeli forces of carrying out a heinous crime against innocent civilians after images of detained Palestinian men stripped to their underwear in Gaza circulated on social media. The international community criticized Israel, accusing the Israeli military forces of barbarity in the treatment of innocent captives and citizens. The International Committee of the Red Cross said it was concerned by the images and that all detainees must be treated with humanity and dignity in accordance with international humanitarian law. These pictures are the same images that we see today at the hands of this Nazi occupation. They are the extension of the same culture, from the American administration to the Zionist entity and vice versa.